guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a jewelry haul video so recently i shopped for some ethnic jewelry and little tribal and boho style jewelry so i thought i'll just show that to you guys so i bought this cute little uh, earring set from forever 21 i think they have around 15 to 16 pairs of earrings which is so perfect for a daily wear and it's so easy to take it along with you in case you're traveling this one has like a cross and an elephant a flower and a stone and an arrow as you can see i've already lost so many pairs of earrings this is of a very good quality uh, as you can see the color has not faded and i wear them literally every day so they do qualify as a daily wear earrings because you don't have to remove them while having your shower or you don't have to be scared of uh, putting perfumes or putting creams or something like that i got a killer deal on this i think i paid around 120 bucks for this one which is a steal because the mrp was around 400 bucks or something like that and next up is this favorite uh, jumkas of mine these are the metal lotus jumkas they are handcrafted guys i paid around 400 rupees for this one i bought this in an exhibition but i do know uh, some of the shopping websites where i saw these jumkas so i'll just link them down below in the description box you can check it out this is so different from the ones that you find in the normal uh, craft melas and these rajasthani uh, melas and all that because uh, i have never seen this design before but now now I have started seeing it in most of the websites and this goes really well with ethnic wear, Indo-Western and sometimes even Western wear. All you have to do it is style it really well so that it matches with most of your outfits. And next up is this coin necklace. I love this so much and even this piece is so versatile you can wear it with western indian and indo western you can use it as a statement necklace for western and you can use it as a necklace for ethnic wear i remember posting a picture on instagram wearing this one many of you messaged me on instagram asking where i bought this ne necklace from i bought this in commercial street bangalore i paid around 400 rupees for this one but it's worth it you might see a lot of such pieces on the streets but this particular piece is really nice because it's not white metal or it is not black metal it's somewhere in between so I like that oxidized finish on it since I bought the lotus earring and the coin necklace I thought I need something to match with it so I was looking for some bangles and finally I found these bangles which is really really gorgeous I bought them in Brigade Road Bangalore you see that and I love the fact that the color matches to the earrings and the coin necklace. As I told you, it has the oxidized finish and that's what I love about this one. So for my wheatish complexion, I think this oxidized finish goes really well. Again, this one you can pair it up with Indo-Western, Western and Indian. So for Indian, you can wear this on both your hands or you can just wear it on one of your hands. And for Western, what I usually do is just I remove everything and I just use this single kata when i wear some solid colors i just wear this one bangle and it looks really nice even for indo western if you just wear this one bangle it looks really nice so these bangles one bunch was 100 rupees so both together i paid 200 rupees and next up is these gorgeous kadas that i bought from the rajasthani mela so uh, there is this place in ashoka pillar i'm sure if you are from bangalore you will know about this place there are these wedding uh, halls in uh, ashoka pillar where uh, very frequently these Rajasthani melas keep coming I picked up these kadas and I love these kadas unfortunately the neck choker was not there I badly wanted the neck choker and he did not have it but I landed up getting an anklet and a bracelet you guys must be wondering that how on earth are all these pieces going to go well with Indian Western and Indo Western but trust me guys if you know how to style them then all these jewelry that I'm showing you today will go really well on uh, Western Western Indian and Indo-Western just give it a try for example uh, this one so if you had like the neck choker you can pair it up with the cold shoulder tops and off shoulder tops and it look really nice so when you're wearing these ankle length pants or something you can pair this up with the outfit this is really cool again this goes really well with western and ethnic so for this kada I paid around uh, 70 rupees and for this kada I paid around 40 rupees and in the same Rajasthani Mela I picked up these two rings so uh, this one is a wooden ring 
Can you see that? I think it's going really well with what I'm wearing right now. And it also goes well with these kurtis that you wear on daily basis. I also picked up a yellow color one which unfortunately broke uh, while I was filming this video. But I did manage to get a clipping which I'll show you guys. So I picked up a yellow and a white one. And for this I just paid 20 rupees. Can you believe it? So worth it guys. It's like a statement ring. If you're wearing some simple outfit and you just wear this one, it just stands out brings life to your outfit and the same thing with this one I paid 100 rupees for this one it's a basic black stone as you can see and if you're not in a mood to accessorize yourself all you have to do is just wear this ring and you're good to go so yeah I think uh, that's it for today so these are the pieces that I bought and all these pieces as I told you it goes really well with Indian and Western and Indo-Western all you have to do is style it really well so I hope you guys liked today's video and I hope you got some inspiration if you have any questions or video requests make sure you comment down below and if you like this video make sure you give a thumbs up and subscribe down below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!